today we're hitting the road to explore some of the best day trips from Ored, North Macedonia. Good morning from Macedonia. Here we are at the car rental place. Uh, we rented a car today for the next three days to kind of explore some other areas of Ored. And behind us you can see these are the, the rental car places, but there's no one in them. <laughs> Apparently they show up exactly at the time you're supposed to rent the car. We think there's some other people over here that uh, that are waiting to return their car, so that's a good sign. If we were all by ourselves standing here, I'd be a little more suspicious, but it is, let's see, it's 10.52, so they have eight minutes. Counting down. <laughs> yeah. It's laundry day. <laughs> yeah. exploring a few destinations that are located outside of Ord Town. They're kind of like popular day trips. We rented a car, so we're gonna try to hit them. Our first stop, we are at the Bay of the Bones Museum. As you can see behind me, it used to be this civilization that used to live on the water, and they had like a retractable bridge that they would take away and put back to like prevent predators like animals and invaders. So it kind of reminds me of the Euros people on Lake Titicaca. So we're gonna go check it out. ancient tribe it's from like dates back to the neolithic time it wasn't discovered until 1997 and then from 97 and 2005 they did excavations but it was basically this village that was built on top of wood and then it was like attached to the lake bed we're in an example of a little house what they think it looked like so we have the bedroom over here i think it looks kind of comfy you know, another bedroom must have been the same double family house. So I guess the walls are like clay. This is interesting. Yeah. Straw for the roofs. They have a little loom here to make bedding. I was going to say this is the puppy house, the, do the dog house, but it's a fireplace. Wow. They said they found, they think there was 24 houses here. It's kind of crazy. It really reminds me of the Euros people on Lake Titicaca. And the cool thing about that is, but it also like part of it's in Peru and part of it's in Bolivia. And then Lake Ored, where we are right now, two thirds of it is in Macedonia and one third's out in Albania. So lots of similarities. And look, ocean view. This must have been the king's house. <laughs> Sleepovers in here. You wanna Airbnb this out? Nice little straw bed. BYOP. Bring your own pillow, mattress, blankets. Bring your, no, it would be BYOB. Bring your own bedding. There's 
also, if you don't have your own car and you're trying to get here via public transportation, there's a boat that leaves Orid Town, like in the main little square, and it'll stop here. If you take the 10 o'clock boat, it'll stop at Bay of the Bones, and then it'll go to St. Nam Monastery, which we're headed to next, and then back. Round trip, it's like 15 euros per person, which is a pretty good deal. And it's like an hour and a half boat ride, which is probably going to be beautiful and scenic, but we have a car. So we found, we found reverse. <laughs> These European cars, you have to push the knob down and put it in reverse. They're not like that in the US. I've never came across them there ever. So that was fun. We were stuck like wondering how. I pushed, pushed this out with my foot one time. And I was like, how does this car not have reverse? Like, what? Um, I don't know. I guess it's idiot proof. Joe had to take a power nap. <laughs> I think we need a coffee. On top of the cliff. We're gonna check it out. This area is famous for being perched on top of a cliff right behind us. It's a straight drop off. You can also catch that boat right there from Orid, like we were saying earlier. It takes you right to the monastery. There's plenty of restaurants, gift shops and stuff. A lot more things here than I thought there would be. And you can even stay here. I feel, like, I feel like those mountains block the clouds and push them away from the monastery. This is really heavy. Yeah, I know. These peacocks are so cool, too. Peacocks live here. <laughs>
at the airport. And Standing around. Behind us is are the uh, rental car places. No one's here. But that's no, that's extra. That's uh, if you want a softer pillow or a softer mattress.